हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ टुडे हिस्ट्री के लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डे प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वाज़ द थर्टी नाइन्थ एडिशन ऑफ कॉर्पेट एक्सरसाइज इज गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन इंडियन नेवी एंड ऑस्ट्रेलियन नेवी इंडियन नेवी एंड द चाइनीज नेवी इंडियन नेवी एंड द यू नेवी और इंडियन नेवी एंड द इंडोनेशियन नेवी The correct answer is option D. Indian Navy and the Indonesian Navy. The 39th edition of India Indonesia Coordinated Patrol, that is Ind Indo Corpat, between the Indian Navy and the Indonesian Navy, is being conducted from 8 to 19 December 2022. Hence, option D is correct. India and Indonesia have been carrying out corpats twice a year since 2002. It will promote government of India's vision sagar that is security and growth for all in the region Indian naval ship that is INS Karmuk an indigenously built missile corvette participated in the pre deployment briefing at Belawan Indonesia Now let's begin today's session first question is in the context of Indian biodiversity the fishing cat is the state animal of which of the following Indian states Haryana West Bengal Odisha or Assam The correct answer is option B West Bengal The Sundarbans Tiger Reserve or STR is home to 385 fishing cats a first of its kind study has revealed recently The trap cameras were installed in December 2021 and retrieved in January 2022 The study only focused on fishing cats inside the STR The actual number in the entire mangrove delta should be much more. The Sundarbans is spread across 10,000 square kilometer, a little above 4,000 square kilometer of which is in India. The rest is in Bangladesh. Fishing cat bagrol in Bengali and Bengal's state animal is included in Schedule 1 of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1972. It is supposed to receive the highest conservation measures like tigers and elephants said animal activists the nocturnal animal thrives in wetlands though it is said to be the top predator in its habitat fish is its favorite prey shrinking wetlands has dwindled their numbers and forced them to stray into human settlements and prey on fish and livestock hence option b is correct Next question is consider the following statements regarding the Rashtriya Gokul Mission that is RGM. 1 it was launched in December 2014. 2 it comes under umbrella scheme Rashtriya Pashudhan Vikas Yojana. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are not correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option D neither 1 nor 2. That is both the statements are correct. Recently the Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying under Rashtriya Gokul Mission has released funds for setting up 16 Gokul grams. RGM has been implemented for development and conservation of indigenous bovine breeds since December 2014. Hence statement 1 is correct. The scheme is important in enhancing milk production and productivity of bovines to meet growing demand of milk and making dairying more remunerative. to the rural farmers of the country the scheme is also continued under umbrella scheme rashtriya pashudhan vikas yojana from 2021 to 2026 with a budget outlay of rupees 2400 crore hence statement 2 is correct therefore option d is correct the program will also benefit women in particular since over 70% of the work involved in livestock farming is undertaken by women Next question is which of the following is not correct regarding the deep ocean mission that is DOM it is launched by the ministry of renewable energy it includes the development of a manned submersible capable of diving to depths of up to 6000 meters it aims to acquire a research vessel for ocean exploration or it aims to develop ocean climate change advisory services the correct answer is option A it is launched by the ministry of renewable energy The Ministry of Earth Sciences has recently launched the Deep Ocean Mission that is DOM. It is a multi-ministerial multidisciplinary program focused on the development of deep sea technology. The DOM includes the development of a manned submersible capable of diving to depths of up to 6000 meters. The DOM also aims to acquire a research vessel for ocean exploration, develop ocean climate change advisory services and build capacity in marine biology. Hence option A is correct. 
Through these initiatives, the DOM hopes to unlock the potential of the blue economy of the Indian Ocean, contributing to economic growth and improved livelihoods. The blue economy refers to the sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth, improved livelihoods and ocean conservation. Next question is, in the context of space, which of the following best explains the term Ryugu? Neutron star, black hole, pulsar or asteroid? The correct answer is option D, asteroid. A sample of a space rock called Ryugu that returned to Earth almost two years ago may hold the answers to the origin of the planet according to a new study. Hence, option D is correct. Samples of Ryugu were carried to Earth in 2020 by the Japanese Space Agency's Asteroid Sample Return Mission, Hayabusa 2. The mission was launched in 2014. It is the first time several grams of asteroid samples were brought back to Earth. Though meteorites fall into Earth give scientists a peek into the solar system's origin, they are often contaminated. But Ryugu samples were carefully handled to avoid possible contamination. With reference to Indian festivals, the Losong festival is associated with which of the following Indian states or UTs? Ladakh, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh or Goa? The correct answer is option B, Sikkim. Losong, also called Nam Sung by the Lepchas in Sikkim, is usually the time when the farmers rejoice and celebrate their harvest. Although the festival is celebrated privately among family members and friends, there is an air of festivity all around. The black hat dance takes place at this festival commemorating the victory of good over evil with charms held in many monasteries two days prior to Losung. The festival of Losung is mostly celebrated in the month of December every year with traditional gaiti and colour both by the Lapchas and Bhutias. Certain competitions are also held in traditional skills such as archery and bouts of merrymaking go on for days. Hence, option B is correct. Next question is, Assam Accord is sometimes seen in the news. It was signed on August 15, 1986, August 15, 1985, August 15, 1984 or August 15, 1983. The correct answer is option B, August 15, 1985. Recently, a constitution bench listed a series of long pending petitions challenging Section 6A of the Citizenship Act 1955 for January 10, 2023. The Act allows citizenship to illegal immigrants, mostly from neighboring Bangladesh, who entered Assam before March 1971. Section 6A was a special provision inserted into the 1955 Act in the furtherance of a memorandum of settlement called the Assam Accord. It was signed on August 15, 1985 by the then Rajiv Gandhi government with the leaders of the Assam movement. It aims to preserve and protect the Assamese culture, heritage, linguistic and social identity. Hence, option B is correct. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding the Environment Education Awareness and Training that is EAT. 1. It is a centrally sponsored scheme. 2. It is being implemented by the Ministry of Earth Sciences. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option D, neither 1 nor 2. That is, both the statements are incorrect. Environment Education Awareness and Training that is EEAT is a central sector scheme implemented by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Hence, statement 1 and 2 are not correct. Therefore, option D is correct. It aims to promote environmental awareness and mobilize students' participation for environment conservation. Grants in aid were sanctioned under this scheme for two major programs. They are National Green Corps or NGC program and National Nature Camping program that is double NCP. Under this program, 1 lakh eco clubs have been formed in schools and colleges to educate students and to spread awareness on environmental issues. Next question is, which of the following ministries is implementing Pradhan Mantri Adi Adarsh Gram Yojana? Ministry of Rural Development, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Ministry of Tribal Affairs or Ministry of Panchayati Raj. The correct answer is option C, Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Recently, Ministry of Tribal Affairs has revamped the existing scheme of special central assistance to tribal sub-scheme with nomenclature 
प्रधानमंत्री आदि आदर्श ग्राम योजना दैट इज पी एम डबल ए जी वाई हेंस ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट इट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड ड्यूरिंग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स विच एम्स एट ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग विलेजेस विद सिग्निफिकेंट ट्राइबल पॉपुलेशन इन टू मॉडल विलेज इट इज एनविशेस्ड टू कवर थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट विलेजेस हैविंग एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ट्राइबल पॉपुलेशन इट इंक्लूड्स प्रिपेयरिंग विलेज डेवलपमेंट प्लान बेस्ड ऑन द नीड्स पोटेंशियल एंड एस्पिरेशंस The scheme envisions to mitigate gaps prominently in eight sectors of development that is road connectivity internal and inter village or block telecom connectivity mobile and internet school anganwadi centers health sub center drinking water facility drainage and solid waste management next question is consider the following with reference to office of profit one it is mentioned in the constitution of india two it is well defined in the constitution of india Select the correct option using the code given below. One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A. One only. Office of profit is mentioned in article in article hundred and two one and article one ninety one one of the constitution. Hence, statement one is correct. Article hundred and two one states a person shall be disqualified for being chosen as or for being a member of either house of parliament. If he holds any office of profit under the government of India or the government of any state other than an office declared by parliament by law not to disqualify its holder article 19111 a person shall be disqualified for being chosen as and for being a member of the legislative assembly or legislative council of a state if he holds any office of profit under the government of India or the government of any state it is not defined in the constitution of india hence statement 2 is not correct therefore option a is correct last question is with reference to the organization of islamic cooperation that is oic consider the following statements one it is the second largest organization after the united nations two it has less than 30 members select the correct option using the code given below one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option a one only recently india strongly condemned the organization of islamic cooperation or oic saying the outfit has lost its credibility the comment came after the secretary general of the oic hisian brahim taha visited the line of control from the pakistani side oic is the second largest organization after the united nations with a membership of 57 states spread over four continents hence statement 1 is correct while statement 2 is not correct therefore option a is correct the organization is the collective voice of the muslim world it endeavors to safeguard and protect the interest of the muslim world in the spirit of promoting international peace and harmony among various people of the world now it's time for the practice question India International Science Festival that is IISF 2022 will be held in which of the following cities Chennai Delhi Bhopal or Kolkata send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching